The Soyuz 7 KL-1 Zond spacecraft was designed to launch men from the Earth to circle the Moon without going into lunar orbit in the context of the Soviet manned moon flyby program in the Moon race. It was based on the Soyuz 7 KOK with several components stripped out to reduce the vehicle weight. The most notable modifications included the removal of the orbital module the orbital module was replaced by a support cone and a high-gain parabolic antenna and a reserve parachute, and the addition of the gyro platform and star navigation sensors for the far space navigation. The spacecraft was capable of carrying two cosmonauts. In the beginning, there were serious reliability problems with the new Proton rocket, the Proton 7 KL-1, and the similar new Soyuz spacecraft. While chief designer Sergei Korolev had originally envisioned a manned lunar spacecraft launched in pieces by R-7 boosters and assembled in Earth orbit, the advent of Vladimir Chelomai's large Yor-500 booster theoretically made it possible to do the job in a single launch. However, Chelomai also proposed his own, competing lunar spacecraft, the LK-1, and Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev gave his approval in August 1964. Two months later, Khrushchev was expelled from power and Chelomai lost his principal patron. At the end of the year, Korolev revived his proposal for the Soyuz spacecraft, but concealed his true intentions by billing it as merely an Earth orbital vehicle for testing rendezvous and docking maneuvers. In October 1965, a mere three months before his death, Korolev was granted official approval for developing a manned lunar spacecraft, which would be a modified Soyuz. This would be launched towards the Moon on a Yor 500 topped with the Block D stage under development by the OKB-1 OK Bureau. Korolev originally intended to piece together the lunar Soyuz in Earth orbit because he did not believe the Yor 500 was powerful enough to launch the full vehicle or that it wouldn't be safe for the crew. However, when he died in January 1966, his successor as head of OKB-1, OK Vasily Mishin, argued that it was definitely possible to strip down the Soyuz enough to launch it with the Yor 500. With the first four unmanned test starts see below being partially successful or unsuccessful, including two under common open name, Cosmos. As for any Soviet test spacecraft, the mission of 2 to 7 March 1968 and subsequent ones were the flights of the L-1 spacecraft under the open designation, Zond, that were given by Soviets for test missions to far space. After the successful U.S. Apollo 8 manned flight around the Moon, the Soviet manned moon flyby missions lost political motivation. The first manned flight of the L-1, Zond spacecraft with Alexei Leonov and Valery Baikovsky planned for the end of 1970 was cancelled. In addition, the Proton booster was far from being man-rated and its poor launch record made it undesirable for manned flights. All L-1, Zond spacecraft made only unmanned flights from 1967 to 1970, from Zond 4 to Zond 8, and four of these five Zond flights suffered malfunctions. Test flights conducted around the Moon showed problems using their star sensors for navigation. These problems caused ballistic re-entry due to the failed guidance. One direct descent re-entry was performed on a steep ballistic trajectory with deceleration of up to 20 gigaseconds and splashed down in the Indian Ocean. Three others performed a maneuver known as skip re-entry to shed velocity. One of those also performed an unsafe for humans descent of up to 20 gigaseconds of deceleration. The other suffered main parachute failure, and only one flight, Zon 7, would have been safe for cosmonauts. Instrumentation flown on these missions gathered data on micromedia flux, solar and cosmic rays, magnetic fields, radio emissions, and solar wind. Many photographs were taken and biological payloads were also flown. Zond 5 was the first spacecraft to carry a group of terrestrial creatures tortoises being the most complex on a circumlunar flight and return them relatively safely to Earth. Zond 5 splashed down in the Indian Ocean after descending steeply with a 20g deceleration rate. Although unsafe for humans, these high Gs apparently didn't affect the tortoise's health, and they were reportedly able to breed afterwards. Two modifications of main Soyuz 7 KL-1 Zond version were created: the powered up to seven ton mass Soyuz 7 KL-1S Zond M that were failed attempted to launch for moon flyby on N1 rocket two times due to Soyuz 7 K lock orbital ship module of L3 lunar expedition complex was not ready. The Soyuz 7 KL-1E Zond lock as dummy mock-up of Soyuz 7K lock and was successfully launched on low Earth orbit on Proton rocket as Cosmos 382 and failed launched for Moon orbiting on third N1 rocket. Despite of closest readiness for primary goal, no official open name for man Soyuz 7KL-1 was adopted. 
According to Ms. Hins and Kamanin's memoirs, the names, Rodina, Motherland, Ural, Ural Mountains, Academic Korolyov, Academician Korolyov, also, Zaria, Dawn, and Zanamia. Banner were proposed for both Lunar Soyuz 7 KL 1 Flyby and Soyuz 7 K Lock orbital ships. The Information Display Systems IDS on the L 1 was called Saturn and featured some differences from the standard 7 K OK Sirius 7 K IDS. Along with the remaining 7 K L 1 S, the Soviet Moon Flyby program was closed in 1970 without the achievement of its manned primary goal. The intended manned use of L-1, Zon spacecraft was documented in official Soviet sources at first time but from 1968 until 1989 this and the moon landing N-1L-3 programs were classified and the Soviet government denied the existence of both. Near 1968 a rare open Soviet sources Big Soviet Encyclopedia's yearbook, Cosmonavtika Small Encyclopedia, sporadically referred to Zons as tests of spaceships for lunar missions omitting but meaning words manned, in difference to term space apparate used by Soviets for non-manned spacecraft. Topic plan schedule As of 1967, the Soyuz 7KL-1 launch schedule was, Mission 2P developed Block D stage February or Ma 67 3P same Ma 67 4 L unmanned lunar flyby May 67 actually launched on September 27, 1967, booster failure. 5 L unmanned lunar flyby June 67 actually launched on November 22, 1967, booster failure 6 L manned lunar flyby June or July 67 7 L and 8 L manned lunar flybys August 67 7 L actually launched on April 23, 1968, as Zond 1968A, booster failure, 8 L actually launched on July 21, 1968, booster explosion 9 L and 10 L manned lunar flybys September 67 10 L planned to launch as Zond 9, cancelled 11L and 12L manned lunar flybys October 67 13L reserve spacecraft actually launched on January 20, 1969, as Zond 1969A, booster failure winking face. In July 1968 it was proposed that L-1 spacecraft would be launched every month, and the first manned mission would be in December 1968 or January 1969 after three to four successful unmanned flights. In December 1968 dates for three manned L-1 missions were set to March, May, and July 1969. Finally, in September 1969 one manned L-1 mission was formally set for April 1970. <laughs> Built spacecraft 15 Soyuz 7K L-1 were built. SN1 prototype not equipped with heat shield, intended to perfect orbital operation of the spacecraft without recovery of the capsule. Launched on 1967 March 10 as Cosmos 146. SN2 prototype not equipped with heat shield, intended to perfect orbital operation of the spacecraft without recovery of the capsule. SN3 launched on 1967 April 8 as Cosmos 154. SN4 launched on September 27, 1967, as Zond 1967A, booster failure. SN5 launched on November 22, 1967, as Zond 1967B, booster failure. SN6 launched on 1968 March 2, as Zond 4. SN7 launched on April 23, 1968, as Zond 1968A, destroyed. SN8 launched on July 21, 1968, destroyed. SN9 launched on 1968 September 14 as Zon 5. The return capsule is on display at the Energy Museum in Russia. SN10 planned to launch as Zon 9, cancelled. SN11 launched as Zon 7. The return capsule is on display at Orivo, Russia. SN-12 launched on November 10, 1968, as Zon-6, returned to Earth on November 17, 1968 SN-13 launched on January 20, 1969, as Zond-1969A, failure, capsule recovered. SN-14 launched on October 20, 1970, as Zond-8, returned to Earth on October 27, 1970 SN-15 planned to launch as Zond-10, cancelled. Topic. Test missions Cosmos 146 Soyuz 7KL-1S, N1 
Launched March 10, 1967 Prototype Soyuz 7KL-1P launched by Proton into planned highly elliptical Earth orbit. Cosmos 154 Soyuz 7KL-1S, N3 Launched April 8, 1967 Prototype Soyuz 7KL-1P launched by Proton and failed into planned translunar trajectory. Zond 1967A Soyuz 7KL-1S, N4 Launched September 27, 1967 First stage minus one road 253 failed, resulting at T plus 67 second deviation from flight path. Zond 1967B Soyuz 7KL1S N5. Launched November 22, 1967. Second stage one X road 0210 failure, shut off of stage four seconds after ignition. Launcher crashed downrange. Zond 4 Soyuz 7KL1S N6. Launched March 2, 1968 Study of remote regions of circumterrestrial space, development of new onboard systems and units of space stations. Returned to Earth March 7, 1968 Self-destruct system automatically blew up the capsule at 10 to 15 km altitude, 180 to 200 km off the African coast at Guinea. Zond 1968A Soyuz 7KL-1S, N7 Launched April 23, 1968 Second stage failed 260 seconds after launch. Attempted lunar flyby Zond 1968B Zond 7KL1S, N8 Launched July 21, 1968 Block D stage exploded on pad, killing three people. Zond 5 Soyuz 7KL1S, N5 Launched September 15, 1968 Circumlunar September 18, 1968 Returned to Earth September 21, 1968 Zond 6 Soyuz 7KL-1S, N12 Launched November 10, 1968 Circumlunar November 14, 1968 Returned to Earth November 17, 1968 Zond 1969A Soyuz 7KL-1S, N13 Launched January 20, 1969 Planned December 8, 1968 Stage 2 shut down 25 seconds early. Automatic flight abort. Capsule was safely recovered. Attempted lunar flyby planned first man flight to beat American. Zond M1. Launched February 21, 1969. First stage failure. Capsule escape system fired 70 seconds after launch. Capsule was recovered. Attempted lunar orbiter and N1 rocket test. Zond M2. Launched July 3, 1969. First stage failure. Zond capsule was recovered. Attempted lunar orbiter and N1 rocket test. Zond 7 Soyuz 7 KL-1S N11. Launched August 7, 1969. Lunar flyby August 11, 1969. Returned to Earth August 14, 1969. Zond 8 Soyuz 7 KL-1S N14. Launched October 20, 1970 Lunar flyby October 24, 1970 Returned to Earth October 27, 1970 Zond 9 Soyuz 7KL-1S, N10 Planned but cancelled Zond 10 Soyuz 7KL-1S, N15 Planned but cancelled <laughs>